Welcome to Corrections Mama 27 channel. If you if you like these videos, please subscribe, like and share. Make your comments, ask questions if you feel like you have some curiosity and have some questions, I might make a video about it. This video is about on Officer Sosa. I worked with Officer Sosa at Steiner. Uh, I liked him. He was a pretty decent guy. And uh, some weird things happened. So Sosa would come to work every day. He was like a very, like one of those tall, thin Hispanic guys. And he was a pretty nice guy. I seemed, he kind of got along with everybody. Um, he did do some questionable things like, you know, crapping where you eat. Y'all know what that is, right? I think I've done a few videos on that. He was one of those guys. There was a particular female CEO that he was, you know, shagging, but that's nor here, nor there, whatever. It happens all too often in the Department of Corrections. But apparently uh, this guy was dating Officer Cruzy and his family found out. His wife found out. Now this guy's got like six kids and a wife. Like how stupid can you be, right? But anyway, his wife found out and um, she was so angry that she filed for a divorce and he became very very stressed out about that and depressed but a lot of people didn't realize or know that he actually had a heart condition he took medication every day for this heart condition and when his family fell apart because of the consequences of his choices and his behavior and his wife wanted a divorce he kind of went off the deep end and got very, very depressed. And he stopped taking his heart medication. But he would still go to work every day. So this was kind of, this was kind of like, I would consider it suicide. If you have medication that you have to take every day so you don't just croak and die, that's kind of suicide, don't you think? and you decide not to take it, well, he quit taking it because he was depressed and stuff. And um, he was on the tram. The tram is a bus that would go around the complex. It had its own like little road. It's kind of like it would go on the perimeter road basically. And it would had take you to six units. And at Lewis, there were six units, plus you have uh, medical, which was also considered a unit. Then you have VIP, which doesn't really hold inmates. It's an intake. And that place also was considered a unit. So anyway, he was on the tram with everyone else and we're on the bus going to our unit, right? Well, somewhere along the way, he died. He just quit breathing, had a heart attack, and died on the bus. And nobody really knew that he was, you know, dead, I guess. I don't understand how nobody really realized he... So he, they didn't, he didn't have anyone sitting right next to him. So people would, you know, get their bags and get off the bus and go into their unit. And then they realized they called the incident command system because... He was unresponsive and unconscious. He wasn't breathing. His heart wasn't beating. He was basically a dead man taking a trip around the complex. You know, they went around in that donut a few times before the, the inmate was like, why is this guy still on my bus? Right? <laughs> wow. I was kind of sad to hear it actually because I liked him as a person and... I knew what was going on with the other girl. I didn't like that, but whatever. You know what I mean? Happened all the time. But as a person, generally, he was always respectful. He never treated me badly. And um, he was really kind of like an easygoing guy. But yeah, so they found him dead on the bus. They had to call 
and it's in command system. Of course, they called an ambulance. They did CPR. They did all that stuff. And then they had to call the coroner because the ambulance won't take a dead body. So then they had to wait for the coroner to come pick him up. And then they had to notify his family and stuff. So, I mean, he died at work, which means he'll get more. His wife will benefit by getting more. And I'm not saying that his wife is going to benefit, like be glad that he's dead. You know, I'm sure it was devastating because she had six kids. He had children that were going to be without their father and stuff like that. But for life insurance purposes, um, he died at work. And when you die at work like that, I think your family gets more money. And so it was a sad situation. But we have had officers actually die at work. And, you know, it's really sad. But it happens because we had so many people that are employed there that it's bound to happen. So this guy died on the bus. That's what happened. You know, rest in peace, Sosa. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and be sure that you make a comment or ask questions if you have a question.